speak here today. Uh, this will be the last day that our offices are so close. Uh, his window is right around there and if you look around the back of my office is about a nine iron shot from there. Unless you golf like Tony then it's a driver in ten ships. <laughs> but about ten years ago I think it's safe to say that Tony Kearns was one of the most successful young lawyers in all of Hunterdon County. He had a great name from a great family. Still does. He had a great practice, he had great clients, he was doing very well. And at roughly the same time, I think it's also safe to say that the Hunter County Prosecutor's Office was in turmoil. It was rudderless, it was leaderless, it was getting sued almost, it seemed like, every other week. Some of them were actually legitimate. And it didn't seem like the best place to work. It seemed like when Tony was asked to become the Hunterdon County Prosecutor, it was the career equivalent of jumping out of a yacht in the Caribbean and into a leaky rowboat headed for a hurricane. And to this day, I'm still trying to figure out what, what, made, what possessed Tony to do it. And I think from having known him, I've got it narrowed down a little bit. Part of it is Tony's sense of duty to others. And I think part of it is that Tony's always up to a challenge. But where I think most of it is, is that Tony sees things that the rest of us see as hopeless. And he sees a chance for things to be redeemed. I think I can fairly speak for all the people who are here, that this is a testament to the thing that you have built. That the prosecutor's office has not just redeemed itself, it is stronger. And it is stronger because you were here. It was stronger because, what have you, because of what you have done. And on behalf of the Freeholder Board, on behalf of the director who's here with me, on behalf of the other 127,000 people that you have served, Tony, thank you. Well done. In his last address as the Hunter County Prosecutor, I give you Anthony P. Kearns III. Um, I, I think um, I think Senator uh, Bateman and Senator Doherty were right as, as I was listening to all the kind nice words I, I, I was thinking you know most people only get those things said after after they've died <laughs> but unlike most people that are dead I get a choice they said maybe maybe I should come back I don't know <laughs> but um, I want to thank you all for being here today and I stand here uh, on my last day as prosecutor and tell you the experience is bittersweet it is sweet as they look back and recall all the relationships which led to successful arrests, indictments, and convictions. Relationships which permitted me to utilize prosecutorial discretion to ensure the right disposition was reached for the state, for the victim, and yes, even for the defendant. In the hope that the person might grow from the experience, evolve, and become a productive member of society. Other relationships help develop programs to increase school safety, address the opiate crisis, bring the faith-based community together, and countless other programs and initiatives. 
It was through these relationships that allowed the Hunter County Prosecutor's Office to do so much good and positive for our county. There are so many to thank for these relationships, the local chiefs and the police departments, the state police, the sheriff's office, the FBI, the DEA, and all our law enforcement partners, the fire departments and rescue squads, the Department of Public Safety, the Office of Emergency Management, as well as our partners in education, particularly the school administrators, those in mental health and substance abuse prevention and clinical programs, the clergy and faith-based communities, and all the various civic groups, the legislators, including local, county, and state officials. All of you, each of you, throughout my tenure as prosecutor have worked tirelessly to make our county better and safer and improve the quality of life we so much enjoy here in Hunter County. On behalf of the Grateful County, I say to you, thank you. Early on, while working with my father around the funeral home, I learned the importance of treating each person as just that, a person. Not a number, not a bottom line, but as a human being with feelings, hurts, and needs. My father was my hero. He was a man who truly cared, who truly wanted to make the world a better place, at least in his corner of the world. Much to my delight in my role as prosecutor, I found many more people just like him, wanting to give up themselves, wanting to make their corner or our corner of the world a little bit better. You all know who you are. I dare not thank people individually as I fear that I would leave someone out. But thank you for all you have done and will continue to do. The world needs you now more than ever. I will take a moment to recognize my good friend, former Somerset County Prosecutor Jeff Soriano, who started this endeavor of becoming a prosecutor with me. And we kind of grew up together in our respective roles. He's a good friend and it means a great deal that he is here. I also want to thank uh, Prosecutor Knapp from Morris, Prosecutor Nafri from Mercer, uh, prosecutor, uh, Acting Prosecutor Monahan from Union, uh, Prosecutor Burke from Warren, and uh, Assistant Prosecutor Tom Chiarcella from Somerset. The County Prosecutors Association of New Jersey is made up of 21 prosecutors. It's a tremendous and collegial group dedicated to justice. We are lucky here in New Jersey to have such an organization and a constitution that provides for the county prosecutor. I do also want to thank the speakers today, Senator Michael Doherty, Senator Kip Bateman, Deputy Director Freeholder John Lanza, Chief Grizzolobo, our honor guard, Jim Curry on the, on the bagpipes, and Sheriff's Officer Maria Dolmer for a beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. And thank you for your kind words and prayer um, and friendship, Father Tim. I'd like to thank my mother, and sisters and their families for being here today. And most especially my wife Paula, our sons Anthony and Joseph, and our daughters Francesca and Sophia. Thank you to each of you for your love and support and encouragement for allowing me to do the job I needed to do to properly serve as the Hunter County Prosecutor. To all of you here today, I hope that I have served you well and to the best of my ability, and in the words of Justice Jackson, that I tempered prosecutorial zeal with human kindness, and that under my watch, my office sought the truth, and that we served the law and justice. I'm not really sure how I ended up being the prosecutor. Um, I think uh, it sounds like Senator Darty and, and uh, Bateman might, might contest that, but I will say, I will say, um, uh, Prosecutor, uh, sorry, uh, Senator Darty. Um, Senator Darty reached out to me, and subsequently, um, Senator Bateman did did join and was a strong advocate for me. But I'm I, I'm going to tell you, I never sought the position. It was never my it was never my ambition to be the prosecutor. I was simply minding my own business in my law practice up in Clinton and I received a phone call and an ask. But I think because I never aspired to be the prosecutor, when I entered the role, I approached it from the perspective uh, that God must want me here 
and must want me to do good. Every day of my tenure, I ask God to lead me and guide me, to help inform my decisions, and to use me as an instrument. I felt challenged to use the esteem of our office to make a positive difference in our county and to lead those that served with me to do the same. So thank you for being here today. May God continue to bless you and the wonderful country we live in, particularly our little corner of it, Hunterdon County. Mike, it's your ship. Thank you. One of our last meetings that we attended was with Attorney General Graywall in his office at the Hughes Justice Complex. As I sat across from you, and you sat directly next to the Attorney General, the meeting was of a serious nature involving a current investigation that our office was involved in. You were sharp and on point as usual as I watched you express your thoughts on the matter that we were there to discuss. That was until that you noticed a very nice, very large shadow box the General had on his wall. As I'm sitting across from you, I noticed that it caught your attention and it drew you into that shadow box to the point which the, the Attorney General had to say, Tony, <laughs> Tony, his second call of your name shook you and you, you got right back into the, into the game. We left that office that day, we went, got in the car, the huge just justice complex, and immediately upon getting into the car, he turned to me and said, did you see that shadow box on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, I did. So this is a little concerning because it is a huge shadow box. We're contemplating bringing it out or not bringing it out because if we drop it, it's gonna be bad. I'm a little nervous. They're bringing it forward. Right here would be great. Yes, sir. Prosecutor, if you can step forward, please. Prosecutor Kearns, on behalf of the Hunter County Prosecutor's Office, the County of Hunterdon, we present you with your very own shadow box that is just as big, if not bigger, than the one that was on the wall in Attorney General Graywall's office. Four months ago, over at the old courthouse with the entire office. It also has the signatures of the men and women of the Hunter County Prosecutor's Office. As a final part of our ceremony here today, it's called a walkout ceremony for a reason. If the uniformed law enforcement officer and chiefs could just line the, the area here, as the prosecutor is going to be walking through once he's done with his final ceremonial farewell.
Hundred from eighty nine one. Okay. Hundred and I will be signing off officially. First responders, fire and rescue, o operators at communications, Department of Public Safety personnel, and Office of Emergency Management personnel throughout the county. It has been my distinct privilege and honor to serve you and with you as your chief law enforcement officer. Never, never, never forget the important job you are called to do each and every day. Remember, the greater you do your job, the less the public will notice. Do it anyway. The greater you do your job, the more secure the people you serve will feel and will be. Continue to do it. We need you. You keep the citizens of Hunterdon safe and preserve the tremendous quality of life we enjoy here in Hunterdon County. Continue to operate under the mindset of, if not me, then who? On behalf of all in Hunterdon County, I thank you for your selfless On behalf of all in Hunterdon County, I thank you for your selfless and dedicated service. There will be challenges ahead and trials to overcome, but know that I have every confidence in you. Each of you has what it takes and gives what it needs. I am grateful. Stay, stay safe, be well, and Godspeed. Communication is to congratulate Prosecutor Kahn on the completion of his term as the Hunterdon County Prosecutor. Be 1042 and 107. Steve, all units can resume normal radio traffic. Thank you. 